Do you feel like your mind, body, and even your dang soul are just a wreck after being in a narcissistic abusive situation? Stay tuned for five ways to help you recalibrate your nervous system so you can live a life full of more joy. Hey queens, welcome to But Still She Thrives. Do you want to stop getting caught up in that wicked web of a creepy crawly narcissist? Do you find yourself up late at night replaying the abuse you put up with and wondering how you can heal now? Do you wake up hoping for healthy relationships and peace only to feel totally exhausted and mind effed? Girl, I see you! I'm Christy. I too had to disconnect from toxic people in my life and I wished I could undo the damage. I felt ashamed, lonely, and kind of lost. But I'm a stubborn Italian, and I refuse to give up. I found ways to recalibrate my mind and body more quickly than I thought, and can now share them with you. In this podcast, you will find coping tools, healing methods, and confidence boosters so you can trust yourself and find peace and freedom. So shields up, ladies. Let's go protect our peace. Are you feeling lost after post-narcissistic abuse? I'm your girl. I got you. This is my specialty. Go check out ways to work with me at www.christyjade.com. Click on work with me and find all the fun ways you can work with me, whether it's one-on-one coaching or a pre-recorded boundaries course. Let's be honest. Just because the abuse has ended doesn't mean the damage is over. Unfortunately, you have to recalibrate, rebalance all the things, which it is possible. We're going to start today with five ways to get your nervous system rebalanced after narcissistic abuse. So when I got out of my situation, I still felt like I was in this state of constant, almost just preparing for the worst. Like everything was always just tight and stressed out. And so I was either like distracting myself and go, go, go doing the work, overachiever mode, all the things, running around cleaning my house, just like this super, super hyper-focused energy, or I was like completely depleted. I felt like there was no in-between. And I was like, I need to fix this. I need to get a hold of myself, my brain, my body, everything felt spent. And I was like, I want to get balance. So here are some things I did to recalibrate that sexy body. All right, you know what I'm saying. Okay, number one, this is like basics. We're doing 101 right here. This is like drinking your water, eating the bright, shiny, colorful foods. I was not eating enough veggies, I'll be honest. I'm just not. When you're stressed out all the time, you tend to not take care of your basic needs, right? And good sleep, which I know it can take time. You might need a little therapy to get some better sleep or pop in one of those lovely pills. Not the hard stuff, okay? I'm talking about some melatonin. (laughs) Number two, get that vitamin D. Not in a pill form. Get outside. Get your butt outside. Not only is vitamin D good for you, but your brain literally changes when you step out into nature. It is an automatic mood boost. And side note, by the way, if you have kids... You can totally use this. I use it to get my daughter out of her cranky cycle. It's like the first thing I do. If she gets cranky, I'm like, we're going outside. Even if it's for two minutes, it works every time. And if I have a little squabble with my hubby, I throw his ass out the door and in the sunlight too. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Number three, meditate every single day. I don't care. I don't care if you don't meditate. You're going to now. The big boss is here. Here I am, queen. Oh my gosh, this seriously, you guys, is a life changer. If you can do it every day, great. I really want you to try it, even if it's just five minutes. But I I mean, I dove in. I dove in. I started probably 20, 30 minutes. And when you start meditating, you're going to want to do it more because you realize how effective it is. It is a life changer, I promise. So if you're not doing it, incorporate it into your morning routine. Um, You can do it at night, but I find the best effect is doing it right in the morning. I have a four minute mood boost, which is my client's favorite meditation ever because it's four minutes, but it will shift your mood. So if you want to start out like simple, I will put that in the show notes, like the description and the podcast. So check that out. And yes, you'll love it. You will love it. Number four is yoga. Kind of the same idea. And you have the added benefit of getting stretchier, which let's face it, we are getting a little older and have less stretchiness. The elasticity is going. So we need to work at it harder. 
So I don't know about you, but I was creaking when I got up after a movie in the movie theater. I mean, I don't know. It started years ago. I just, it was creaky creaks. And when I keep up with my yin yoga, especially that really gets in like the fascia and the deep tissue, like it's amazing. My body does not make the noises that compete with the popcorn crunching. So it's an extra bonus. Seriously, I really, really recommend yoga. It's awesome. You can do the hot yoga. You can be baller. I do the yin yoga. It's just so relaxing and it makes you just really stop and be in the moment. I just love it. Number five. All right, you big hippies. Let's end with a bang here. You are going to walk barefoot outside. Yeah, you may hate me for this one, but if you actually do it, you will thank me. This is what we call grounding. Oh, the magical things it does for your body. You may end up with neighbors gossiping about you, but you won't care because you'll be so excited and just running around like a magical unicorn. And maybe you will attract a like-minded neighbor that wants to run around like a magical unicorn. Uniporn. Oh my gosh, it's getting crazy over here. <laughs> unicorn. Feet naked, wind in the hair. You just never know, people, okay? So you never know. You'll find your tribe by running around with your naked feet. Seriously, grounding is really awesome. You can hide. You can do it in your backyard where no one can see you. But connecting your body to the earth is a thing that is just, it's, you got to do it to, to understand, okay? Now, these are just five tools. We have all sorts of things. We'll have more episodes about this. Write me your questions at fiercemama, M-A-M-A-C, at gmail.com, sending specific questions. And I hope these five tools have helped you today. So go start resetting that BS that that toxic, nasty mofo caused you. I'm so mad at them. Okay, I promise we can undo this. Catch you in the next episode of But Still She Thrives. If you are loving this podcast but want a little more customized guidance, go to my website at www.christyjade.com and go to the Work With Me tab to find ways you can work with me. I would love to help you. Also, don't forget to look in the show notes, aka the description of this podcast, for any related links that I mention and more Christy Jade fun. <laughs>